Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video I'm going to show, how to map your USB ports on a Hackintosh. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. You may have a question, why USB mapping is necessary. USB mapping is necessary because of a few reasons, such as if your Mac OS is unable to recognize the USB ports and their type. USB ports running at a slower speed than their original rated speed. Bluetooth or a webcam not working, broken sleep-wake function, and so on. Now before you start with this guide, make sure to follow the previous guide on fixing USB on Mac OS. For mapping USB ports on your Hackintosh, you'll need a few tools, such as Hackintool for mapping the USB, Open Core Configurator, for mounting ESP, and editing Config plist, I.O. Registry Explorer, for confirming the detection of the USB port, and XPlist for editing text. Also, you'll need a 2.0 USB drive, or a 2.4 GHz USB receiver, 3.0 USB drive, Type-C USB drive, and Type-C to USB adapter or OTG. Now, firstly we'll start with mapping 2.0 ports. So, make sure to confirm that the XHCI port limit work, in the kernel tab of your plist, is disabled, if you're using macOS Big Sur version 11.3, or later. Here, I have also disabled XHCI port limit work, as I'm running macOS Ventura version 13.4. Now, open Hackintool, and go to the USB section. Before you start discovering the ports, click on the Clear All button, to clear all the listed ports, and then click on the Reload button, to reload the ports. And here you'll see the number of ports currently available. The ports in green are the active ports that are being used. Now, open IO Registry Explorer, and then in the search bar, search for XHC or XHCI. Now in IO Reg, you can look at the XHCI tree, for available ports, and active ports. Here in Hackintool, you can see the active ports, and its name, and in IO Reg, you can look for the devices plugged into that particular port. Also, you can see the port's layout, devices plugged in, and its name on the motherboard. Now, start with USB 2.0 discovery, connect your USB 2.0 flash drive to each port of your system, and wait for it to appear under hack until USB. Once detected, eject the USB flash drive physically, and plug it into the next available port. The active ports will be marked as green. You can use Finder or Disk Utility to check if your USB device appears or not. You can also look for it in IO Reg. Moreover, if you're using any 2.4 GHz mouse or keyboard receiver, make sure to use it a bit after plugging into any ports. Also, it will be very useful, if you mark each of your ports to its respective name, as shown. In the later stage, you may need the data for disabling some of the ports, as Apple made some changes to their USB implementation. With the new rewritten drivers, the port limit was broken and it is limited to 15 ports, since Mac OS Big Sur version 11.3 and later.
After plugging the 2.0 USB driver receiver into all available ports, plug the 2.0 driver receiver into the Type-C to USB adapter or OTG, and after that plug it into all Type-C ports. Now, as the USB 2.0 ports have been discovered, it's time to discover the USB 3.0, 3.1, or 3.2 and Type-C ports. If you're running Mac OS Big Sur version 11.2.3 or prior, you can continue with discovering 3.0 ports, but if you're running Mac OS Big Sur version 11.3 or later, you'll need to enable a quirk named XHCI port limit, in kernel section of your config P list. After editing the plist, restart your PC, and reset the NVRAM, and boot back to Mac OS. After booting back to Mac OS, open Hackent Tool, and go to the USB section, and continue to connect your USB 3.0 flash drive to each port of your system and wait for it to recognize by Hackent Tool. Once detected, inject the USB flash drive physically and plug it into the next available port. Also, don't forget to mark the ports to their respective name.
Now, the USB 3.0, USB 3.1, and USB 3.2 ports have been discovered, it's time to discover the USB Type-C ports. Connect your USB Type-C drive to each port of your system and wait for it to recognize by hacking tool. Once detected, inject the USB flash drive physically and plug it into the next available port. After discovering all the ports, close IO reg, and now, it's time to calculate the total number of ports discovered. To calculate, simply count the ports in green, in my case, the total number of ports is 24, and the total number of discovered ports is 21. To remove the unused ports, simply select the unused ports, and click on the delete button. The unused ports are non-green ports. After removing the unused ports, once again calculate the total number of active ports, in my case the total number of active ports is 21. So, I'll need to disable some of the ports, as I'm limited to using 15 ports only, as I'm running macOS Ventura, which is a later version than macOS Big Sur 11.2.3. Here, I'll be disabling a few of the 2.0 ports, as I don't need many 2.0 ports. Select the ports you don't want, and simply click on Delete. To remove them, make sure that you don't remove any of the ports that were pre-discovered by Hack and Tool. Removing such ports may cause issues with the connected devices, such as audio. After removing the ports you don't need, and achieving the limit of 15 ports. Now you'll need to change the connector type as required. Set all the inaccessible ports and hubs as internal, including the Bluetooth port, and Type-C ports to Type-C. Also, if you have any Type-C port which supports display, or has a similar port number, set the connector to Type-C plus SW, and leave the rest port as it is. If you want to know more about this guide, make sure to check our website for more info. After changing the connector type, you'll have to export the mapped text, which has everything set. To export, simply click on the export button and it will generate text and SSDTs to your desktop. After exporting the text and SSDTs, quit Hacken Tool. Now, you'll need to install the mapped text. Open, open Cork Configurator, and mount your ESP. Now, browse to the KEXT folder of your ESP, and delete USB inject all KEXT, and then put the USB ports.kext to the following path of your ESP. You'll also need to add the KEXT entry in the kernel section of your config plist. After adding the USB ports entry, make sure that you have removed the old entry of USB inject all, and also keep the kex in sorted order. Now, remove the XHCI port limit quirk, and in the quirk section of UEFI tab, enable this quirk, but after mapping you face any issues, disable it. Now, close open core configurator, and save the changes made to the config plist. Now, select the USB ports kex from the kex folder of your ESP, and right click on it. Select Show Package Contents, then Open Contents folder, and now, open the Info plist using XPList. In the XPList, expand IO Kit Personalities, and after expanding further, remove these four entries. After removing the entries, close the XPList editor, and save the changes made. And now, delete the exported files, quit all the running apps, and eject the mounted ESP. And restart your PC, in order to see the changes. During restart, make sure to reset the NVRAM at least once.
And now after restarting, you'll have all of your USB ports working as mapped, except for the disabled one. For testing the mapped ports, open Hacken Tool and go to the USB section. Before you start testing the ports, click on the Clean All button to clear all the listed ports, and then click on the Reload button to reload the ports. And now, start testing the ports. Testing the ports is just an optional thing, however, you'll be confirmed whether all the ports are working or not. If you're sure enough that you've followed the guide correctly, you can skip testing. And as you can see, all of the mapped ports are working as expected. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.